Today, I'm going to show you how you can practice speaking English by yourself at home using only materials that you definitely have access to. Now, I bet you've heard this advice a lot. In order to become a good English speaker and speaking conversation, you have to speak English a lot, preferably with native speakers. And yes, this is true. To become a good English speaker, the best and easiest way is to speak English in conversation a lot. I've given the same advice on my YouTube channel. However, unless you live in an English speaking country or use English every day at work, I bet you thought to yourself, but I don't have any chances to speak English. I don't have anybody to speak English with. And yes, this is a problem for a lot of people. Others, on the other hand, have many chances to speak English. However, they lack the confidence to make use of these chances. Perhaps they are shy. Or perhaps they learned English only from textbooks with their eyes and they feel that their pronunciation is not good enough and they don't know how to say the things that they want to say. Today I'm going to teach you a technique that both of these kinds of people can use to improve their English speaking skills and pronunciation. This technique is of course, shadowing. The idea behind shadowing is simple. You listen to some English and you repeat it at the same time. It could be a conversation or it could be a monologue. It doesn't matter. But you're listening and you're repeating at the same time. Now this does several things for you. The first thing that it does for you is it trains your ear to listen very, very carefully to the way that things are said, to the tone and the rhythm in which phrases are said, and the length and the number of pauses that are used in speech. Because if you can't hear these things, you can't copy them. So in order to copy them, you have to become very good at hearing them. So very quickly your ear will become very accustomed to the rhythm and the tone and the way that people speak. The second thing it will do is it will really improve your pronunciation and your accent. This is because you get so good at listening to the way that things are said, to the pronunciation, that you will be able to copy it. It will also get your mouth muscles moving in the correct way and it will train you to move your mouth properly when you are speaking. This will help you speak more smoothly, again with improved pronunciation. In another video I will show you a slightly more advanced way to do shadowing um, which will help you remember massive quantities of phrases and vocabulary. But today I'm going to demonstrate the kind of basic version of shadowing. So as I said, first you need to find some audio to use for shadowing. Now it could be a TV show, or it could be a radio program, it could be a podcast, or it could be an audio book, it could be anything like that. It should be to your level. So if you are a beginner, don't try to use something very advanced. Try to use something at your level. Maybe just a tiny bit more difficult is okay. But it should be fairly easy for you. Because the exercise is not to improve your comprehension. The exercise is for you to improve your pronunciation and your speaking and really train your mouth to move as it should. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate today using some materials that I designed especially for shadowing. Let's go. 
So I'm going to be demonstrating shadowing today using some special materials that I designed just for shadowing. They're a kind of short story. And I've printed out a text here. And I have an MP3 which I recorded, which is on my computer just behind this camera. And I have read the text several times and I've looked up any new words in the dictionary. And I understand it perfectly. I've also listened to the MP3 several times, so it's kind of easy for me now. Yeah, I understand it really well. So now I just want to be able to say this really easily. And yeah, so I'm going to demonstrate with this. I should point out that because I made these materials, I'm going to be shadowing my own voice, which is a little bit strange, to be honest. Of course, you should be shadowing a native speaker. The goal is to copy that speaker so closely that you become that speaker. Every single little pause and the kind of the rhythm and everything, you should be trying to copy those as closely as you can. Okay, so, again, I've read through this and I've listened to the MP3. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shadow just one time whilst reading the text, which is quite easy to do got this here, and I'm going to hit play. My son and I nearly, nearly came, came to blows, blows over the, the Olympics. Olympics. He, he came, came down, down to stay whilst, whilst they were on, and was, was not impressed with my old 20-inch television. television. You're not, not really going, going to watch the Olympics, Olympics on that old thing, thing, are you? He, he said, said to me, TVs, TVs like, like that went, went out of the arc. arc. Get yourself something, something more modern. There's nothing wrong, wrong with this television, I replied sniffily. I don't live in a throwaway culture like some people. And then, and then I realized, realized it was, was a good excuse to upgrade, upgrade. And, and quietly, quietly went, went down to buy a new 40-inch flat-screen TV. Okay, so that was reading the text, and that was quite easy, because I can already see what's coming next. So what I'm going to do now, which is a little bit more difficult, is I'm going to get rid of the text, and now I'm going to shadow without the text. So here we go. My son, son and I nearly, nearly came, came to blows over the Olympics. He came, he came down, down to stay whilst they were on, on and was not, not impressed with my old 20-inch television. television. You're, You're not really going, going to watch the Olympics on that old thing, thing, are you? He said, he said to me, TVs like, like that went out of the arc. Get yourself something, something more modern. There's nothing wrong, wrong with this television, I replied sniffily. I don't, I don't live in a throwaway culture like some people. And then, and then I, realized I realized it was, it was a, a good excuse to upgrade, upgrade. and quietly, quietly went out to buy a new 40-inch flat-screen TV. Okay, so that was much more difficult not using the text. I think I did most of that okay, but maybe towards the end, I think, I didn't do so great. So I'm just going to do that one more time. Here we go. My son and I, I nearly came, came to blows over the Olympics. Olympics. He came, came down, down to stay whilst, whilst they were on. on and was not, not impressed with my old 20-inch television. You're not really going to watch the Olympics on that old thing, are you? He said to me. TVs like that went out with the arc. Get yourself something, something more modern. There's nothing wrong, wrong with this television, I replied I sniffily. I don't, I don't live in a throwaway culture like some people. And then, and then I realized it was a good excuse to upgrade, and quietly went out to buy a new 40-inch flat-screen TV. And there we go, shadowing. And that is basically it. It's that simple. Now at first, you will find this quite hard. And it is quite hard. It takes time, but repetition is the key. I recommend that you pick some audio that you like and is good for your level. And you repeat the same thing again and again and again and again and again over the course of a whole week. Because as I said, repetition really is the key. You will find over the course of the week that it will become much, much easier. And the idea is to basically keep practicing until you feel like you are becoming the person. You can copy them so closely that it feels like you are that speaker when you're speaking. For more advanced learners, I recommend using a TV program or a film. Try and find a scene where there are two people talking and just shadow one of those two people. 
again, try to become that speaker. Copy them so closely that it feels like you are that speaker having that conversation. And keep repeating until it becomes easy. Okay, that is it for today's lesson. So in a future video, I'm going to show you how you can make shadowing much more efficient using some computer software that you can download for free. In the meantime, try the shadowing technique and see how well it works for you. See how much it can improve your pronunciation and help you to speak English more smoothly and more naturally. And after you've tried it, leave a comment under this video and let me know what you think of the shadowing technique. And if you haven't already, please also go under this video and find the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. And you can also find a link in the description to the Doing English Facebook fan page. So whilst you're at it, why not like that page and then keep up to date with everything that's going on with Doing English. See you in the next lesson.